So guys, before this video gets started, I just want to take in consideration that um, I am truly sorry that I did not get a chance to show you all of the of the motor mounts as best I did as best I possibly could with the time that I had. Um, I was also fighting the heat. It was um, I know I said it was a hundred. It was actually a hundred and two on that day. And as the day got on, it started getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And towards the end, it was almost close to 110. Uh, so uh, it was just extremely hot and I'm already in the beating sun trying to do my best to show you guys this video as well as get it done. So I may be repeating myself a few times because I'm hot and I'm dazed and I'm trying to keep my focus so I can get this done and show you guys the video as well. So please take in consideration that I did do the best I could with what I had in the time that I had um, to do it. I would have loved to have shown you guys more. I ran into a lot of difficulties that I did not know until I came, came into them. I usually like to prepare myself before I get started. And I thought I had myself prepared, but then it was totally different from what the videos I had watched to kind of mimic what I was going to do. So everything was had to been was done on the fly. A lot of adjustments was done on the fly. So please take in consideration and please enjoy the video and please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Let's get into the video. What is up, guys? It's your boy Fix It Daniel. And today we're on the vibe. We're on my wife's uh, 2010 vibe. What we are going to be doing is we are going to be replacing all the motor mounts and the transmission mounts. I'm going to hopefully show you guys how we're going to do it and we're going to be getting into it. So let's get into it. So guys, welcome to the channel. If you guys have not seen my stuff, please go down, like, subscribe, check it out. But today we're on the vibe. We're on the Pontiac vibe. We are going to be replacing the motor mount and transmission. We're replacing all the mounts. We're not going to replace just one. We're going to replace them all. Hopefully we'll get it all done today. It's a nice, beautiful day, but it's also super hot. But today we are going to be getting into it. So let me show you guys what we got. All right, guys. So we got all the parts. Hopefully we got everything. This one goes right there. Goes on that. Goes and replaces that one exactly the same everything is all bolted up that one's pretty easy um then we have this one right here i believe this one's the hard one i believe this one is the one that goes down and under the wheel well we're gonna move all that and replace that we're gonna replace this and then we have some other mounts i believe this mount here is the one that goes yep it goes right down there replaces that one We'll be taking that one out too. And then we have this one here. I believe this one's the transmission mount. One that probably goes right back here up under this up under this air box. But yeah, you can see that one. That one down there is really bad. It's got to get out. Shouldn't take too much to do. This one so it looks pretty easy. And then this one in here might be... We're going to start with the hardest one first. Because it's down there where this one's all up and a little bit more room. So... So yes, we're doing it replace because it is vibrating a little bit. Um, so uh, actually a lot. Sitting at idle, it's just it's vibrating, and you can tell us the motor mounts. The car runs phenomenal, fine, smooth when you're moving. But there's the times when it's sitting still, it's just vibrating. Not really for sure which one it is. So since I got all of them, I'm gonna replace them all. So that way we got that good peace of mind knowing that everything is all good. So we're gonna we're not gonna do this one. We're not gonna do that one. We're not gonna do that one yet. We're gonna do the hardest one, which is the one all the way down by the on the bottom. So we're gonna replace that one first, and then we'll come back and do the easier ones up here. Hopefully not too bad. So let us um, first let's go ahead and get this box out so we can expose it. Then we'll get the car lifted up on jack stands, get the wheel off if we need to. Hopefully we can get it from up here, and then we'll be good to go. So let us get into that. All right, guys, so we're going to start taking this air box off because we need to get to it anyway to reveal all the mounts. So we're going to start by taking off this sensor here. Let me get my rich. 
Oh, we're gonna have some rusted stuff. Big time. Big time. Wow. That's not gonna come off, is it? Nope. I'm gonna end up breaking it off. So, all right. So we got some rusted stuff here. <laughs> A lot of rusted stuff. Um, so we're gonna have to figure out another way of getting that off. So we may run to a lot of rusted bolts today because uh, this car is pretty old and it's got a lot of surface rust, but some of the bolts are rusted, but the body and everything is perfectly fine. Just a lot of rusted stuff. I mean, it's a 2010. So, all right, let us get something to pry that off. Let's try the old flathead. Let's get the, let me uh, figure this out. Hold on a second, we'll be right back. Hey okay, guys, so we're back. We got the box off, had to pry that off a little bit. We may have to get some new clamps for that. But we exposed the transmission mount. So this is the transmission mount because the transmission is right here. So it's really quite simple. It's just these two bolts here, and then this bolt in the center, and then it should just pry right up. So this is the mount. This right here is the mount. So there's one there and there. And then this one down here, really quite simple. There's a bolt here, and there's a bolt under, and then there's a bolt there, comes right up. Same thing with this one. You got uh, these two bolts here and here, and then you got some bolts down there going to the frame, and then that comes out, <clears throat> comes out where we have to take this reservoir off. And then you got one more in the back that's um, on the back side of the motor. It is the smaller one. It's the one that's, uh, it is um, this one right here. <clears throat> so, you got uh, two main bolts and then one bolt that goes through and then one here. This one's, it's not difficult, but it is under the vehicle. Um, so it's on the, it's on back down there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, let's see, let's see if you guys can to see if you guys can see it. Uh, yeah, a little bit. It is. That one to the right, I'm trying to get my hand on it. So it is this piece right under, under this bar. You can see it. It is right under this little bar here is that one right there. Um, really quite simple to get to. Um, right now I'm letting everything sit on PB, PB Blaster. And then um, once we get it all set, spray it one more time, and then we're gonna get ready to rock and roll. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Get down to the bottom i'm gonna bring my little impact and then um, i'm also going to uh bring my wrench tools so hopefully i can get in there and show you but it's really really tight so i'm gonna show it to you and then i'm gonna go ahead and just do it so let me get under there and let me show you what i'm talking about okay guys so we're under the vehicle and as you see there's the bolts so it's two main bolts that's that's on the mount and then this one bolt here and then i'm gonna scoot up <clears throat> so there's the mount right there yep there's the mount right there and then there's a bolt this, this thing will clear there we go so there's the bolt there there's the mount right there and then there's the bolt to the left then just get that bolt out get these three bolts in and then uh probably have to put some kind of way to jack this up to hold it in place and then hopefully we can get it out and get the new one in and then get these one tightened and then once these are on, then we can go to the ones up top. So this is what we're gonna do next. I'm not gonna be able to do this on camera because it's kind of tight. Um, so I just wanted to show it to you. So it's really not too, too terrible. And I'd actually don't have to take the wheels off or anything like that, just right here in the middle of the motor. I got a little bit of room. Um, I don't think a power tool is gonna work to get this bolt out. I may have to use an, a wrench or something, but we'll try it and see what happens and hopefully we'll work it out. So let's go ahead and uh, Let's get this bolt out. Okay guys, for the sake of time, we're not gonna do the back one. So the back one looks pretty good. Um, the problem I'm having is I have to get the bolt next to it by the steering rack, the steering rack. I can't get it off. 
Uh, so I've tried everything. I've put some PPP blaster on it. I've used my impact. I can't get it off. So instead of fighting with it, I'm going to leave that one and then we're going to fix these front ones, these three that we can get to. And then I may have to get to that one later. I may have to take it to the shop and let them do it because um, I just can't get to it. I don't have a, an air impact. If I had an air impact, that would probably get it off. But I don't have one and my, my, uh, the one I have isn't strong enough. It's strong enough, but it ain't strong enough to get it off because it's trying, but it will just won't budge. So um, just for the sake of time and dealing with this out in this heat, I'm just gonna leave it. The the um, the uh, mount looks really good. Um, they it did have three bolts, or, um, two with the nut and one with the stud. The stud broke. Um, I think it was already broke because it's so rusted, but it's broke through. So it really honestly is being held by the two bolts. Um, uh, the two, yeah, the nut, the two nuts, because it has the has the uh, the studs coming down, and the other one, and it has two nuts going in, and the other one had the stud going into it. So the stud was going into it broke, or rusted broke. Um, I think once I think it was already broken, and when I turned it, it just snapped it. Um, but the other two came out pretty well, so I think I can get them back on at least to hold it in place. And then later, I may have to take it to the shop or have someone else uh, get an air inch and then get that. All you gotta do is just get that, um, if I can get that bolt for the uh, uh, the steering rack off, I could then I could lift it and there'd be enough room to get the get it out. Cause I could get the bolt, it's out, but I just can't, I just can't get to it. So we're gonna skip that. We're gonna come back to it later. I'll bolt it back up. Right now I'm just gonna move to these three in the front that I can get to, and then we're gonna go from there. So let's get to this one right here by the transmission. Okay guys, you're gonna have to forgive me. I had to do some crazy stuff that would have just taken forever to show. And I got them in, so I got the top two in. Really, it was really struggling because the way the motor is sitting is sitting on like four different, I guess you would call it mounts. So the way it trembles and, and turns, it's really funky. Um, I really could not get a good beat on this and, and it's a hundred and something out here today and I'm sweating like crazy and I'm just trying to get this done. So I got it in, I, got, I, got, I just got this one in I got the new one in down there. So the back one, we're probably gonna have to leave alone. Now we're gonna tackle this one and then we should be good to go. But yeah, um, I'm so sorry I could not show you guys this. I really wanted to, but it was so difficult. Even down there, it's very difficult. You have to finagle it, lift the jack up and down just to get the bolts out. It's just a mess. It's really hard to show. Um, so, and it's like blazing hot out here. I'm, I'm like cooking, trying to get this done. Um, so we got it in, that one looks good. Then we got, um, we got that new black one down in there. That one wasn't too bad, but we got it in. Now we gotta tackle this one. All right guys, so we're taking a break. As you see, I am dying. <laughs> uh, it is extremely hot out there. I have to take multiple breaks, water breaks, just so I don't pass out. Um, from the heat uh, like I said I am super sorry that I could not show you guys all this I'm doing the passenger side motor mount right now I got all the bolts loose but I can't get it separated from the actual block of the motor it's been fused really well I'm assuming that these motor mounts are OEM came straight from the dealership I don't think they've ever been changed so yeah they're a little pains in the butt um, but surprisingly, they're all really good. So I don't know which one is loose. Um, so replacing them is a good idea. I wish I could get the back one, but I have to take the rack off, the steering rack off, just to get to it. And it was in the steering rack nut, it's not coming off with what I have. Um, I do have electric impact that may do it, but it is so darn hot, I may have to come back to that. Like try to get the, the rack off, nut off first, and then try and lift it, and then see if I can get to it. Uh, Cause then after that I could get it all out. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the, the nuts and put them back on the one in the back of the motor or to the left of the motor, since it's since the side motor, um, or I'm sorry, to the right. I'm gonna put the two bolts back on and I'm gonna have to tackle that later when it's maybe a little cooler. Um, um, and then try, well, really, honestly, the real reason is just to get that, that nut off that rack and pinion. Uh, so, 
Right now I'm still fighting trying to get this uh, passenger side one separated and it's not coming done. It's uh, super, super tight, but if I keep tapping on it, I'm hoping that it'll just come undone. So I gotta find some other kind of pry tool to lift it and then hopefully we can get this darn thing off. So uh, let me try and fight it some more and cross fingers, hope we get it. So. Let's get back to okay, it. Okay guys, so we got it. There was a nut on the bottom. Go fig, huh? So now it should come off. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right. Sorry, I don't know if you can see there or not. See, comes right off. Perfect. Just gotta get this uh, little cable thing off and we should be good. So let me get my flathead. Who would've thunk it, huh? I got in there and looked, and sure enough, it was an actual uh, nut. How about that? So, all right, and this thing should come on out. All right, uh, let me get both hands. Gonna need both hands. Let me get this out. All right, guys, so we're gonna get this thing out. Had to take this apart to lift it up to get enough room to clear it. And I gotta move this reservoir out of my way. Boom. It's out. It does have a little bit of play. Where the new one, no play. So, new one just goes right back in. So, lift the reservoir out of the way, get it down in there with the cooling lines. Maybe when I let the motor thing down, it might go. Or actually, let me put it a little higher. Everything's lined up. Oh, it's pretty much down, except for this side here. Hmm, I'm not quite for sure. Maybe we'll jack it up some more. There we go. Cool. All right. I'm gonna put this nut back on. So we're gonna get all the nuts in there. Nuts and screws down, so that way we can get a nice better seating. All right, let's go ahead and uh, right. 
right, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down real quick. Seventeen millimeter. All right, those are down. All right, we're going to go ahead and set it down and see what happens. Okay. I think we got it. Just gotta get my extension. Uh. Okay, guys, so it's running. No more shakes. It is good to go. No more shakes and no more vibrating. So, I call this a win. So we are good to go. Sorry I couldn't show you everything, but um, it was really difficult, but we got it done. All right, guys, and just like that, we are done. The car is running good. No more shimmering and shaking. Um, it is running really, really well. Um, we're good to go. Even though I didn't change that one in the, in the, uh, in the back of the motor, um, everything is still pretty good. I think it was actually the drive, the passenger side motor mount or maybe even the front, but I replaced all three. I replaced one on, on the transmission, I replaced the one in the front of the radiator, and I placed the one on the passenger side, and it's not shaking, shimmering and shaking anymore. So I think we're good. Uh, good success on that. It is crazy hot, and I had to do it. So I wanted to show you guys, and I hope that uh, me showing you what I showed, it will help. Um, so guys, that's pretty much it. Well, I'm gonna get out of this heat and get cooled off, get some water, go take a cold shower, and enjoy. So guys, you guys have a good and blessed day. I'm gonna see you in the next fix. Until then, peace.